Derek, how do you reflect on that tonight? It was tough. We've not had a, a game like that this season. It was tough to endure. Um, I think right from the, the outset, I thought Celtic played with real intensity and never let us breathe in the game. We, um, you know, I think when when we have done well against Celtic and our press has been really effective, it wasn't quite as effective. Clearly, the night there was so much that could have been better about the performance tonight. I think subconsciously. Um, as much as we prepare right and the motivation's there, I mean, what to do well tonight, we're up against a team who have got so much on the game and a bit clearly more on the game than us. And the way the cards were dealt with Celtic coming here to try and win a league, it was um, it was always going to be tough. I think us, even at our best, if we press properly, we press, we real um, we turn the ball over and we look after the ball. Us at our best tonight would have been d difficult to get a result against Celtic. That said, nobody likes losing the way which we did. I think they, they got a helping hand with the first goal. Um, Don Robertson apologised to me half time. He said they should have stopped the game for the head knock. Um, so Celtic didn't need a helping hand tonight because they were very strong. And sometimes you've just got to take your medicine. The better team were, were in the uh, opposition dugout. Um, their players were, were very good tonight. Some of their individual play was good. And that said, disappointed with a couple of goals, particularly we lose. We gave them a bit of a helping hand. Um, but it's um, it's hard to be too critical of anything here. You know the the fans the way they were with the support the uh, the team at the end is brilliant acknowledgement. I'm glad so many waited behind to to do that. Uh, that was important, and I think the players needed to see that. Um, so it wasn't how we wanted the last home game to play out, but it was always going to be a tough ask. And hopefully um, Saturday we can get a a winning performance. And then the players can be acknowledged properly. Uh, the, the individual awards going out for the player of the years and, and different uh, awards. And a, a real opportunity for the fans, the staff, the players to all kick back, mingle with each other and enjoy and reflect on what has been a brilliant campaign. The, the reward for it is the European spot and we'll look forward to the draw through the close season. And the likelihood is we'll get a team of pedigree, they'll be the seeded team and a team of, of real note. And that will whet the appetite, along with the fixtures coming out again. And uh, you know, no playing the League Cup and playing Europe in Europe is magic for the club, and it's everything I want it to be. And hopefully, we can uh, get a bit of rest in the summer after Saturday, and ready to see if we can make those improvements again. Just to go back to the fans, you know, it would have been easy for them maybe to go up the road Aye. in the droves, but they stayed, and that must have been great to see. When yeah, you I think they probably made a real conscious effort. A lot of them would have came in, out probably expecting Celtic would win the title night. You know, that's. Um, they probably weren't expecting us to lose the game, neither was I, the manner that we did, but I think so, you know, for them to make that real concerted effort, um, you know, nobody likes seeing another team coming here and celebrating, but the, the conscious effort the player uh, support made is really appreciated, you know, and I think it was uh, pretty, um, uh, it was nice, it was a nice touch, it was uh, exactly what should have happened, and I'm glad it did happen. Uh, it was more than a few, it was brilliant to see so many in the stands um, still at the end, and, and rightly so. The players deserve that support, um, the support deserve that team, and hopefully, as I say, there's good days ahead for us again.